Mark chapter 7 and verse everybody. 21. Far everybody. from within, out of the heart of men. What the fuck? Out of the heart of men. Brother, you hear God is telling you about out of the heart of men. Well, come out of our heart. Proceed, evil talk. Evil what? Evil talk. The key word is what? Evil talk. The key word is thoughts. No, we're. Which part of the body are used to think? Okay. But where does Babylon say, oh, artist? This is the pump of your body. It pumps blood. This don't think. Out of your heart comes for evil thoughts. You go tell what it is. Adultery. Before you decide to go take the sister husband, you must do what? Sit down and think upon it. Alright. So God will let you know that you think upon the things before you bring it forth. So out of your heart comes for that which is evil. Read. Fornications. Before you decide if you grown around and not get married, you think upon it. Many of our sisters say they don't want to get married. Many of the brothers say they don't want to get married. That's fornication life they're planning to do. So, but they think upon it before they happen, before they act. Come out. Read. Murder. No, before you decide to kill your sister or kill your brother, you think on it. You don't just get up and kill. Yes. You get up and you brandish your gun, you wham, you shot me a knife because you already think that you're going to commit murder. Yes. That's the out of your heart come for these things. Read. Yes. Theft. Thief, before this have to jump over if the man fence and break the man house or broke the man's store, you think upon it. Right? And where do you come from? Out of your heart. Read. Covetousness. Covet. You see your brother with something, you want it. You see your sister with something, you want it too. That is covetous. Read. Wickedness. Come on. Deceit. Lasciviousness. An evil eye. Blasphemy. Foolishness. Uh -huh. All these things come from within and defile a man. All of these things come from out of your heart. So God said, go back to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. And if you have a question, you can ask. We're willing you to. I thought you did have a question. What was the question? I see what I have a question. Tattoo. Tattoo. Give me a little bit of question on that. It's not it, him, man, another brother. Okay. I noticed a lot of our. It was you. All right. Let's see what God said about these things. Because we're coming about. No worries, sister. Hey, sis. These men, we all we are weren't always righteous. All right. The thing about our people, we don't realize that we messed up and we need to come back. And God loves us so much that He giving us a chance to come back. Read that for me. Leviticus chapter twenty-one and verse five. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Come on. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. That's a lot of things our brothers have. We love to shave our beard. As we, when we're following God, we decide to repent from that. Allow your beard. Read on. No, she shared. Read it again from the ear. They shall not make Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Don't take a razor blade and shave it. Like it's a soft power them look. Don't do those things. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. If you guys get clean shave and you shave, God said, don't do it. Don't do that. God give a different life from the other nation. And God telling him, this is your life. Don't shave off your beard. Read. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Now do what? Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So what does that go into? Tattoos. Tattoo. God said, don't do that. Read on. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. Huh? You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. When someone we went out with me, some friend on the line. We miss our mothers, some of we go on far as putting a tattoo of their name. Some of us have our, have our loved one who we love. Some of the sister them tattoo them man name upon them. Some of the man tattoo their woman name. God said, don't do these things. Read. Now print any marks upon you. They, have, the they, are, they were cutting goes into what? Mark. Read. Now print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. I am who? I am the Lord. He is your Lord. God said, don't do it. Give me a book of Sirach. If my son, if I have, um, have those sin. So yeah, we have gone that way. We have done it. Does that mean that there's no hope from us now? Does that mean, sister, you cannot repent and come back to God now? Let's get it. 21, take verse 1. That, that, that does mean because we have been messed up away, we can't come back. That's why he said, he said go and get them. Go and teach them the way that they will follow. But before they know the way, what am I going to do? They might go mess up. We are going to do all manner of things before we know the way, but then the way is going to come and show us, hey, this is the way, walk in it. Let's see what he has. The book of Sirach, chapter 21 and verse 1. My son, has thou sinned? So my son, the book written in a masculine form. He's talking about you two sisters. Have you sinned? What's your answer? 
What's your answer, my brother? Have we seen? Money. Of course we have. What's your answer, bro? Auntie, have we seen? Yes. Of course we have. So the answer to the question, read the question again. My son, have thou seen? What's the answer? Yes, we have seen. Read. Do so no more. Read. But ask pardon for thy former sins. But now God said, do so no more. What that fall under? Stop where you are doing. You start with uh, the Bible of a word first. We start beginning with R. Repent. That's what it means. Come on. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. If you go in your house and book up on a snake in your house, where you going to do? Yeah, Where you going, brother? Yeah, run. <laughs> you have to run from it because you know the danger of that serpent. So God is telling you know, that the, the danger of sin because the way of sin is what? It's dead. It is what? Dead. Death. So the snake, the serpent, is the same as evil as sin. The serpent's death will kill you. The sin gonna kill you. And God is saying, what you have to say? What the, 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 what the fear of them talk about, about the snake they represent now? Yeah. But God said, flee from sin. What is sin? Alright, biblically, can you show anybody what sin is from the Bible? If I would give the Bible and I say, show me the Bible what sin is, can you do so? Alright, so we're going to show you. So you can, and bear in mind that you can do it. All you, all you have to do is to build up, study, and you can do it. No, he's not, he not saying that snake is evil, you know. He's showing that snake is dangerous. So he's saying, flee from the snake. Flee from sin, like we're run from a snake. You understand? But he's not a god made snake. Not wrong with snake. Read that for me. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. For whosoever committed sin, transgresseth also the law. For whosoever commits sin in transgression of the laws of God. Read on. We're reading from the New Testament. Read on. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of God's laws. Huh? Every sin is what? No matter what you have, it's one sin. Oh, one sin? No, you have. Yes, sin is sin, but you have different, different sin. Types. You have some sin that result in death. You understand? You have many sins in it. You have sin that, well, that your blood will have to be shed. Like, for example, give me that there. Yeah, give me that. Romans chapter 1 and verse and verse 26 for this cause God oh uh, yeah yeah read it verse 25 of Romans chapter 1 who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever for this cause God gave them up to vile affection for even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. When, like, look at that scene. Women change the natural use to that which is against nature. What is that that a woman now do? Lesbian. What that is? Lesbian. Lesbian. Is it natural for, for women to be sleeping with another woman? No. No baby can bounce. So that's against nature. And what? So is that against nature as well? So you know that said? Likewise, also the men live in the natural use of the woman. So it is natural for a man to go to a, a woman. Read on. Likewise, also the men live in the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust towards another. Towards another. Man, no burning lust towards another man. Depends on what's in your heart when you say. Let's say him look dirty and say when he looks up. No. There's something wrong with him. See, it all depends on what. If you look up on a person with lust in your heart, that's a different than when you look at something wrong with him. I say, yo, so don't look right. If you see a man look like with the feminine, say, yo, look the feminine, all around this wrong, something wrong there. Say it all depends on what's in your heart. You understand? Like lust, lust. Right. So you what God is saying now. Read again. And likewise also the men live in the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one towards another. Men with men and with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which is meat. God brings judgment when man lie with man. When woman lie with woman, God brings judgment. Right? But because of all of these things. So, we have to. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Is there a command?
commandment about that. Yes, and the commandment said what? Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. You're following God. Because all the people in the people are Ireland, they love to say that they know what? They love God. We pick the saint. But God said what? Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. When we say love God, sister, I tell you Come face to face with yourself when you're talking about God and in a real clean safe and self. God said if I love him, keep his commandment. No, we don't look face when you come face to face with truth when you're deep in yourself. Do you think you've been loving him? See that? You know how many Christians are asked, do you love God? They said yes. You know where they answer from? They answer half of the top of their head. They don't really look deep in themselves before they answer. But when you look deep in yourselves, you realize that you've never been loving God. And because we never was loving God, this happened to us as a people. You understand? God said, if you love me, do what? Keep my... Keep his commandment. No. 16. The book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 16. But unto the wicked... You know God said, but unto who? But unto the wicked. No, you know God said, but unto the wicked. Who's the wicked in the Bible? The white man. All right, the white man is known to be the proof. The wicked. Let's get Malachi chapter four and prove the point. Who's the wicked? This is when you read the Bible, sister. Question must be asked, and when you ask question, seek for answers. So God said to the wicked. Now we're gonna find out who the wicked is. Read Malachi chapter one and verse four. Wherefore it? Verse three. I have loved. I have hated and I hated Esau and led his mountain and his heritage ways to the dragon of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate, desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will cast, I will throw it down. You need to have a renaissance. They come back and rebuild back their kingdom. But God said that though they build it back, He's going to throw it down. Read on. And they shall call them. People shall call Esau the border of wickedness. What do they call it? The border of wickedness. So the people shall call him. Every nation right now call him the wicked. You hear what God said to them now? Go back to it. Psalms 50 and verse 60. But unto the wicked, unto the wicked, the Caucasian, God said, What has thou to declare my statutes? Or what thou should escape my covenant into thy mouth? God said, What have you to declare the statutes and to take the covenant of God into your mouth? God never give it to them. The book of Maccabee with the pagan. So, I see this brother looking at here, the real, the fighting on the white things, right? See that? Now, watch this now. Let's see, sir. These books are part of the Bible. They took it out during the Protestant church. Let me show you what God said about this. You see this white image? Make people say, I write my book. But let me share something in this book. Read it. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. Yes, sir. Hey, brothers, brothers, brothers. You were concerned about, say, just a white image, right? It's a white man book. Brother, sister, sis, sis, sister, pay attention here for a second. Read. First Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. And then open the book of the law. So the book of the law is what you call the Bible. Read. Wherein the heathen, the the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. So in the Bible, the heathen paint their images. That is why you see white images on some page in the book. Now when the black man home the book and see the white images, they say a white man book. God said the heathen open the book and do a paint the likeness of the image in the book. It was not given to them. It was never. Take a look. To take right here. What does this picture have to do with the Bible verses then? It's not a part of the verse. So what is it in the book? Read it again. First Maccabees 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, Bible, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. When the black man opened the book, or the book of the law, and see that white image in it, he's now saying that it is a white man book. It was never there. The book of Psalm 40, Psalm 147, 19, 20. It was never a white man book. Find the scripture out to find. It was always the black man book. Read that for me. The book of Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is our people. We are Jacob. God said he has shown his word unto us. Come on. His statutes and his judgment unto Israel. See who engaged statue and judgment to? Israel, we just read the book of Psalm 50, verse 6, and God said to make it, what have you to take my statue?
nachos in your mouth. Read on. He has not done so with any nation. God never gave the statues and judgment to the heathen. He never gave it to them. Though they took the book and write and draw the image in it as if they are their book. It was never their book. Read on. And as for his judgments, judgment for breaking God's laws, the judgment for breaking God's laws, slave ship, yokes of iron, scattered through the earth, regards what happened to his people, read, they have not known them. Who carried the white man through the earth by slave ship? If the white man was scattered through the earth by slave ship, they would have been the one here as slave, not, not us. They would have been the one in America as slave, not us. You understand? So that's all you know is that though they, though they, they, they introduced back, they reintroduced back the Bible to us, it was never their book. They only reintroduced the Bible to our people, brother, they only reintroduced the Bible to our people when we become what? Let me do that 28 and verse 48. Let me share something. What do you think? In slavery, they forbid the slave to read and write. What do you think that is? They know why you have to keep knowledge of who you are. Because you may know the knowledge, that doesn't mean that your children will know it. That doesn't mean that your children, children, children will know it if you don't know how to carry that right. Say that again, say that again. Rockefeller said he wants a nation of workers, not thinkers. All right, they want a nation of workers, not a nation of thinkers. Our people today, we are a nation of what? Workers! We are not thinkers. That is why God said that our people don't even consider who they are. Because we are no longer what? Thinkers. Read up for me. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. We have to serve them as it's a nation of what? Workers. Read. And in thirst. And in nakedness. So we were working. Naked we were serving them in, in, the, in the fields, right? Lack of water, we were serving them in the field. That's why a lot of our forefathers are fainting because they were thirsty and they have to produce a certain amount of work. Chop a certain amount of sugar cane. In the America, pick a certain amount of cotton. With little of water, nakedness out in the sun, they have to be working. That is our history, read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So what we're doing right here is to teach you who you are. Did we not wear yokes of iron upon our neck? Nakedness, in nakedness we have yokes of iron, right? Of course. Read on. Until he has destroyed thee. Most I said yokes of iron will not remove from the black man and the black woman neck until they became what? Until he has destroyed thee. Until we become destroyed. Yes. But we resolve. He cannot jump on a ship or jump on a place I'm going back home. Because if you land in Africa, you cannot say I am home. Because you have various nations there and they say, who should not belong to you? Who should not land is yours? He cannot step back off and say, me there who? You can't in any enemy land when you reach down there. You understand? You can't be in an enemy land and call that enemy land your home. That's not your home. Your home is your land. So which land in Africa is your land? Read. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Read. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Which is the mother of us all. You hear the mother land is? Jerusalem. Where do you find Jerusalem? Huh? We are in Africa. Do you find Jerusalem? Eh? We are in Africa. Do you find Jerusalem? We are in, we are in Africa. Africa is a big continent. We are in Africa. Do you find the land Jerusalem? Mr. Sister, Israel. The capital of that land is Jerusalem. What? Understanding of all day that do his commandment. Why does this man know of the understanding? Give me leave it to us 21 and verse 5. Why does this man know of the understanding? Because good understanding of all who keep this commandment. God give understanding to those who are keeping his commandment. So why this pastor ain't getting the understanding? Let's find out. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So this pastor is in transgression of God's commandment. Therefore, so God don't give any understanding. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of 
have their beard. Read on. For not make any cutting in their flesh. Uh -huh. That's it. Read on, man. Verse, verse 6. They shall be holy unto the Lord thy God. Thou yeah. shall what? They shall be holy unto their God. So if you're shaving off your beard, you ain't holy. God ain't giving you the understanding of the scripture. Right. Yeah. Do you understand why you don't get it? I can prove to you that you are all false prophets. Come and prove it. Come and prove it. You don't need to get me. You can talk. I mean, I'm hearing you. You hearing him? Yeah, the people I said are hearing you. They said they're hearing us. Prove it. How are we false? Okay, Come and find it. You are preaching bondage and condemnation of the people. Well, I'm preaching bondage and condemnation of the people. Am I doing so? Read it for me. The book of John chapter 3 and verse 34. For he who, who, he whom God had sent, he who God has sent, let's say God sent you or us. Read. He whom God had sent, speak at the word of God. What? Speak at the word of God. And we stand up here for man. Now you're going to wear what? No, you have to. Now you're going to wear it's a rabbin condemnation to the people. Yeah. It's the prophecy that God got destroyed our people in the book of Ezekiel chapter 18. Yeah. Uh, give, me, give me the accent. Who are them? Who are them? Let's see if, we, if I'm not speaking what God said. The, you see the reason why our people now repent? Are because of Pastor Lacuno. Yeah. Uno roll back God's word so they don't bring fear to the people by teaching what, what God going to do to them. Uno roll back what God going to do to them so they don't know. Yeah. Read me again for me. The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Yeah. Repent. So man, I'm I condemning you. I'm trying to make you save yourself by stop breaking God's so you don't get caught up in it. This pastor ain't teaching you nothing. Read. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. Read. Read. Seek ye the Lord where he may be found. Seek the Lord. Come on. Call he upon him where he is near. Come on. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the what? Let the wicked forsake his way. Pastor, stop shave off your face. God can't you to be the wicked. Read. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And you. Leave off your own thoughts. You are unrighteous in the eyes of God. Read. Right. Let him return unto the Lord. Let him do what? Let him return unto the Lord. God to Isaiah chapter 50. You return to God by keep the commandments. Stop shave off your beard. Read. And he will have mercy upon him. And the Lord will have mercy on you and give you understanding. Right. Read. And uh, unto our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Oh. Then the Lord will abundantly pardon. Pardon you, Pastor. Verse 8. Read. Verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Because God's thought is not your thoughts. Your thoughts is that when time white man Jesus come, you go and get saved. That will not happen. Read. Neither are they. You are far from. I saw me go to his speak at on sister. Read. For, for, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. You think you can break that laws and get eternal life. That's your thoughts. Read. Neither are your ways my ways. Say yes, you can shave off your fears and think to say yourself, God, that is your ways. Read. For so my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Give me Isaiah 58. My sister, Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Let me, sister, you think say chase, we are chase? God, we are going to be offensive to anybody who break God's laws. Isaiah 58. The book of Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Come on. Yes, we are just. God said what? Cry aloud. Cry aloud means you help me and mark and speak loudly. Read on. Spear not. Spear, spear not. Sister Phil is going to get hurt. Pastor Phil is going to get hurt. But God said don't even care about that. Still cry aloud for me, my servant. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. A trumpet don't sound tiny, sister. It's very loud. Read. And show my people. And show what? And show my people. And show my people their transgression. By not saying and God said it's transgressing God's laws. God says, sister, stop. Read. And the, and the house of Jacob, their sin. And what? And the house of Jacob, their sin. And the house of Jacob, their sin. Sister said, where am I bringing my preaching out here on the Sabbath? Oh, the yeah, book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 1. What shall we say again? Yeah, God, let's hear yeah, God word. Read. Shall we continue in sin? Shall we continue in what? Shall we continue in sin? Sister, shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound? That grace abound? God forbid! God forbid! Cover up your body, woman! That's right! Cover up your body! You are selling clothes! You are selling them! Cover up your body, woman! Read! What?
what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Shall you continue breaking the laws that grace may abound so that you may abide under grace? God forbid. God said no. God said no. Cover up your body, sister. We work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. We want freedom by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary. This is a revolution of God. This time that we live in it, the greatest time on earth, revolution. A spiritual and biblical revolution. All these lives will be shut down this earth. I live in Britain. He's strong. I'm all in.